Hi all folks, this is Max from droidbionicroot.com. So today I'm going to show you how to back up all your apps um, and restore them when you install a new ROM. To do this you'll need a rooted Droid Bionic. Um, if you don't have one, go to uh, droidbionicroot.com. I have instructions on how to root your Droid Bionic. Next, what you want to do is um, download this app called Titanium Manager. So, let me go to Titanium. Um, titanium backup, I mean, and uh, download the Titanium backup. Um, you can get the pro version, which allows you to restore with one click, um, but you still have to get the regular version. I have the pro version. Um, it's it's a lot easier to uh, restore ROMs, but you can use a free version. It's just uh, uh, if you do install a lot of ROMs, it's a lot easier. And then you open it up, and we're gonna back up all. Uh, hit allow and uh, press OK. I'm gonna try to zoom in here. Okay, and there's three tabs you'll see. It's kind of confusing at the beginning, but don't worry about anything. Just go to schedules and hit uh, hit back up all new apps and new versions and hit run. And this will basically back up all your non-system apps in the background. Um, you'll see that it's backing up Bionic Bootstrapper and all the non-system apps that I've installed. Um, it's installed backing up Facebook. And uh, I'll be back shortly when this is done. Hi folks, so it says batch backup is finished. Uh, and let's open up Titanium Backup again. And uh, if you have to double check um, by going to backup and restore, dismiss. Um, you'll see these are all not backed up, um, but that one is the smiley face, right? Um, so all non-system apps are backed up, right? And uh, I think if you want to save all your SMS messages, um, dialer storage, you can back this up manually say back up oops no, 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 no. yeah yeah I did back up alright so I got a smiley face there too um, if, if there's any you know if there's any apps that you want to back up um, that you didn't add let's see here maybe like memos or something you can go through and uh, manually back up apps um, like some of the system apps like memo or something it if you wrote memos on it you want to save that all the memos you wrote um, I think the messaging part also you might want to back this up so back up anything that um, even if system app if you want to uh, save all the data and settings and uh, and when you've done that um, it's all backed up and you go to the new ROM and you can restore it uh, by going to backup and restore hit that button and hitting batch and go down going down to restore all apps with data so I have 17 but I'm gonna go install a new ROM and then um, I'll show you that I can restore my apps hi folks so I've installed a uh, blur 3d ROM so as you can see I've lost all my apps um, so let's get it back. Go to the market and download Titanium Backup. Hello. And all your uh, apps are backed up on your, um, I believe, your internal storage. Um, so you can always copy, I believe it's called the something along the lines of Titanium Backup folder. You can copy that folder into your hard disk also if you're going to exchange your phone or something. Um, or if you want to copy over your apps to another Android phone. Um, so, overview, whoops, what happened? Try again. Oh, it says uh, application development USB debugging checked on. Oh, make sure that's checked on, otherwise it won't work correctly. So go to settings, um, applications, development make sure USB debugging is checked on all right and uh, 
that way. Pull this out. Um, you want you might want to also set it as charge only, or just take your USB charger out um, so it doesn't get confused. Okay. I am having a trouble here. Okay, so I had to restart it because because uh, my um, USB disk drive mode was on and it was funky. But anyway, once you get it started, um, you should be able to go to backup and restore like I told you earlier. And uh, hit the menu button, batch, go down to restore and you'll see that you can restore 17 apps and you can run it and this will restore all your all your apps run the batch operation uh, one by one. Oh, you might want to go to settings and make sure unknown sources checked on if you have uh, um, you might want to do that and it will start restoring alright run the batch operation it's going right now. It's stuck. Sometimes it can get stuck. Just go to menu, settings, um, applications, and manage applications. Go to all, and go down to um, titanium backup real quick, and force stop, and try again. Because the unknown sources, I was doing that, and it was causing havoc sometimes it happens just restart it titanium backup and we'll do it again it should work fine now um, go to backup and restore menu batch restore all apps with data now it will run fine run the batch operation and install and uh, it will install and you have to do this uh, each one by one until everything's um, been installed. Is it stalling on me now? Oh, no, it's doing something else. And then press done, and it'll go to the next app. So I have 17 apps. Um, if you get the pay version, it'll do it automatically w without asking you. I'll give you a demo of that, and then it'll go through until it restores all your apps, and you should be back to normal. Uh, but let me let me actually force close this and I'll show you um, let me go download the pro version real quick and I'll show you Hi right, folks so I've got the pro version um, you just have to download the uh, pro along with the regular titanium backup and you'll realize it's the pro version um, as you can see pro donate version thank you go to backup and restore and I'll show you that do batch I think it's like $3.99 um, restore all apps with data run and run the batch operation and you'll see that it's gonna run by itself and uh, you don't have to do anything that's why it's cool um, so it's now it's restoring and I don't have to click on anything and you can see batch restore finished and uh, let me see if I got all my apps here yep I got all my apps back um, I wanna see if I restore messaging also. No, oh, maybe that didn't work. But uh, as far as all my apps with data, it restored, so I should be good to go here. Um, so that's how you use Titanium Backup to back up your apps and restore them um, while you install new ROMs or move it between them. Um, next time I'll have a video on how to have uh, multiple ROMs running and you can switch on the go. Um, so if you have trouble, you can always go back to the stock rooted or to this blurry 3D or whatever. So see y'all later. Thanks.